Yeah, no, absolutely. So, so, so with that momentum, how do you think we could compare how the internet's mainstream adoption happened with what put, uh, potentially could happen with blockchain? Are, are they going to follow the same sort of uh, adoption type curve or, or, or could it be different because we now have the internet to actually perpetuate uh, the adoption of, of blockchain? Um, the differences are here very important, I believe. When the internet needed to be adopted and laid down in terms of uh, dial-up access or, or later on broadband access, which is still an ongoing process, by the way, mm. it could not travel but progressively spreading geographically. And there were very constant comparisons. Oh my God, Europe is ahead in the mobile. Uh, oh my God, uh, the US is ahead in broadband. Korea is beating everybody with the fastest speeds with Sweden, et cetera, et cetera. And the investments that were needed in order to catch up were also local. Today with blockchain, we have a global communications infrastructure that enables anybody with a mobile phone to immediately start reaping the benefits. And the applications that are being developed are delivering these benefits to more and more people. So if it took you know, 20 years to get where we are with the internet, Maybe, maybe a bit more, almost 25, let's say, with blockchain, I believe is going to be much, much faster. So Kevin, yeah, I've, I've, um, I've been on record as being quite conservative and uh, <laughs> I'll tell you why. And uh, I'm gonna just have a look behind David in his, uh, in, his, in his cabinet there. You'll notice that he has a rack of CDs and a rack of DVDs, if I'm correct, and then a rack of books, um, a good old analog books. So, you know, in my experience, when we were involved in the early internet, we thought that it would change the world immediately. And guys, you know, a lot of you watching at the moment, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty certain that, that is, it's not going to happen at the pace that we think it's going to happen. I remember very clearly Bill Gates uh, saying that if you're not online by the year 2000, guys, this is 2000, not 2020, then you are out of business. And uh, 2000 came in and went, and uh, we're now in 2018. So, you know, you know I, I think that people do change slowly. Um, and there is going to be this, uh, this um, amazing amount of, of, um, of, uh, uh, innovation that happens as a result of the blockchain there's absolutely no doubt about it it is going to be a completely disruptive technology um but i think it's going to take a little longer um so i'm a, i take a slightly more conservative view david 